Hello everyone, welcome to my demonstration of this monstrosity. It's called the Heterodyne Space Explorer. Um, I originally got interested in it when I saw an article on Beavis Audio about CMOS chips. I don't really understand most of it, but uh, the schematics that he posted in progress seemed like really good uh, practice and made really good noisemakers as opposed to something simple like the uh, like um, the Atari Punk console or something like that. Um, this is basically the Atari Punk console on steroids. So let me go through the controls first. I've actually combined two different plans for this. Um, I took some elements of the Beavis Audio schematic for the Space Explorer and uh, there was another um, layout that I took from... Excuse me, you're in the way. <laughs> there was another layout that I took from uh, somebody's blog. Had Somebody had made a Space Explorer and put it, their layout on Vero board. Now he only made one with four frequency controls. I took advantage of all six. So let me go through the controls. Uh, the, big knob is the master volume. The orange one is a voltage sag on off switch. The four or the six purple knobs are the frequencies. The six gray knobs are the individual volumes. So you can mix in any amount of each one and then control the whole thing with the master volume. And the switches uh, it's just simple. One side is a resistor and on the other side there's a diode and it changes sort of uh, the octave of the frequency I'm I'm kinda noticing so and you know standard 9 volt input uh, there is a battery box in there so you can use a 9 volt battery to power this if you like and uh, simple speaker out I was going to build a speaker in it but uh, didn't have the room so <laughs> But that's okay because uh, I built an Atari Punk console with a speaker built into it, and uh, it was basically uh, you need uh, an output to an amplified speaker. Um, otherwise, if you just have something like this with a speaker on it, you'll have to crank the volume to hear anything. And then, you know, if you switch back and forth, you might get a surprise when you plug it into an amplified circuit with a cranked volume. Anyway, enough of me going on, let's hear what it sounds like. My mistake, the switches don't really control the amplification, or the uh, octave, it just makes more of a, a louder, louder signal.
So yeah, anyway, um, I'm really enjoying this and uh, it seems like it would be really fun to try with uh, some other effects like reverb or echo or something. And you could create some pretty, uh, pretty crazy sort of soundscapes with this thing. So anyway, um, thanks for watching guys and I'll link the uh, plans that I used in the description if you feel like giving it a shot. And uh, so, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Say bye-bye, Brack.